Hello, my name is Paul Taylor. I am the author of these wonderful posts, which some of you read on a regular basis. I hope that that hasn't addled you or disturbed your equilibrium in any way. The reason I'm here today is to say thank you, because the last post we made, uh, we posted our very first sort of proper video of Frozen Synapse. And we got a lot of really amazingly nice comments about it, which have been very positive. And so this is a little thank you to all of you people who bothered to post comments. Now, for those of you that read this blog on a semi-regular basis, you'll know that I like to do a post called The Meaningless Diary of an Indie Game Man. That basically consists of me showing you the glamorous realities of life at the front lines of indie game development. And what I'm going to do today, as a special present to you, is do that in video form. So let's take a look around the environment of an indie game developer to see what we can find and what we can learn as well. This is the first piece of behind the scenes footage as the camera you were previously watching me from was propped up on this book which is called Kotler on Marketing. It's a marketing book that I've just started reading. It's very good and I think all indie game developers should read marketing books. Please don't be mouldy, 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 please don't be mouldy. Mold free bread! Mold free bread! The excitement persists forever. Uh, book about dogs there, if you can see that. And some onion detritus. Uh, two favourite blog items here. This is the Basil from Basil Update. As you can see, it's now here in a semi wilted state. Uh, give it a Basil rating of about three. And also leaning down here in the darkness, that's right. Perennial blog mascot, Mr. Potato Man, leaning there up against some of the bizarre hand washing thing that my girlfriend buys, and an upturned mug, which I washed up yesterday and neglected to put away. Let's go up the stairs in my tiny house, and we should shortly be entering the room where a lot of the magic happens. This is the room where you've seen uh, me writing from before, and... Um, Yes, I also do the audio for our games in here. I record Visiting the Village, our podcast, using this microphone. And uh, yes, I sit here quite a lot. What do I have on my desk today? Um, Painkillers and chewing gum. Two very important things to get me through life. Uh, this digital recorder thing, which we'll be using to record audio at Game City. A big stack of business cards. You can never have enough business cards. And here underneath, what's this? Keeping my keyboard propped up properly? That's right, it's a copy of DEF CON. So that can go back under there and fulfill its purpose. Uh, yes, oh, other things I have here include my three music making devices. Um, I use Korg DS10 on this. Uh, Nano Loop on this thing. Let's see if, if I can get that to work. Um, and also, what else? Oh no, sorry, I got that wrong. LSDJ on this. Uh, ooh, that doesn't sound very well, does it? But that's the noise you can make with LSDJ. Wow. Um, yes, and also Nano Loop on the GBA, my old GBA here. I don't know, obviously, I don't need that particularly, but whatever. That's all good. Uh, on my screen today, uh, I'm looking at the tent, a game city being built, um, which is great because that's where we're going to be for the rest of the week. Flyering, walking around, talking to people inside there. Very much looking forward to the IndieCade event that's going to be there. Take a look at some other indie games. Again, if you're in Nottingham, come and... This is in the Market Square. It should be fairly obvious, so come and have a look at that. All right, that's a brief tour of the internal environment of an indie game man. We're now going to go on an exclusive mission. Uh, and that mission is going to involve something that's inside my bag. And that thing is uh, this copy of Computer Music Magazine, um, which... Not only is it is a great magazine, but also contains my column on video game music, which is called Game Overture, uh, which I probably won't be able to find quickly. Oh, in fact, there, there it is. That's written by me. Ah, what an amazing amount of plugging there is. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this magazine and we're going to put it in the village magazine exchange box. Um, these people are not going to know what hit them. This is by far the most exciting magazine that has ever been in that box. So why don't you join me as we go and do that? Right, uh, this is the village where I live. It's called Off Church. And uh, this appropriately enough is...
village street. Look at this British autumnal idyll. Idyllic. Okay, we're approaching the magazine exchange area now. Um, let's just see if we can get in. Okay, we're, in, we're inside. We're inside. There's two travel and country cars and trains, so I'm just going to add this to general interest. There it goes. There it is. It's been secured. Okay. I also like the Off Church Croquet Club competition roster. That looks like Edgar. Edgar won this year, right? Well, there we go. I think that was a success all round both in the action of the thing and in the entertainment it gave to you, the viewer. That's the end of this little missive. Uh, I do hope you've enjoyed it very much. If you haven't and you hate it with every single fibre of your being, which, let's face it, is probably the rational choice, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments thread. We'll be sure to come back with new updates to Frozen Synapse, and, of course, when there aren't new things to show you, we will just fill up the time with unadulterated guff like this to hopefully keep you vaguely entertained. Thank you and goodbye.